Olight M2T Warrior. This is an updated version of the Olight M2R, this one with their new tactical tail switch. And I've said this in a lot of my other Olight videos, but I always, to some degree, a light is a light, and Olight kind of keeps coming out with things in their new lights where I'm like, wow, that's kind of nifty and useful. And I, I hadn't thought of kind of combining that with this, and this light is another example of that because they took their M2R and they made this the M2T with the tactical three function tail switch. And this tail switch actually has an interesting function to it, three functions to it as the case may be. And I will show you that. This light also comes with the new Olight packaging, which is this white box. The box actually seals on the top here. So when you get it, there is a tab there. You pull that tab and then you open it up. The sides of the box uses here, police, hunting, search, home, on the back here is some information about the light, which you can read or I will tell you about it, which is why you're here. And then five year warranty there. And so that's the new Olight packaging. It's cleaner, it's prettier, it's more modern looking. So you open this up and you pull out this piece here. The light comes in there. And then there's a little tab on the side here. You lift that up and underneath here in a little tray is the belt clip case and then some instructions on how to use the tail cap, and then the instruction manual in a bunch of languages. The belt clip case, kind of a standard belt clip case. It's a little bit thicker material. Velcro here. It comes with a lanyard, if you're a lanyard type. And then the back of the case has Velcro there so you can affix it over something, or D-ring there, however you might use it if you're the belt clip case kind of guy. Putting the light in the case fits well. Way down in there, so not a lot of excess on the case. And that's that. Now the light itself. Here is the light, the M2T. This light goes for $69.99. I will put a link down Amazon below as always. You can check it out there. And this light is kind of hand size. It's not a small light, it's a little bit chunky, but I just think we'll still carry reasonably well in a pocket, depending on what you're wearing. Going over the light, starting at the back here, there is that new tactical tail switch, which has three functions, which I'll show you. Right in here is the spot for the lanyard, if you want to feed that through there. The tail cap comes off, and on the inside here, this light takes either two CR123s or 118650. And if you're gonna use the two CR123s, it comes with this little sleeve and the two Olight non-rechargeable CR123s that comes with it even says do not recharge right there. So you put them in there. And alternatively, if you're just gonna use an 18650, you can plop it in there and it'll fit. I'm gonna use that for the video here. Screwing that back on, there is an Olight here. This light has IPX8 rating like all good lights do and screws on fairly easily. The plus terminals, as there's the indicator here, go this way on the light, so it's a little bit backwards of how a lot of lights would go with them facing the other way. Moving forward, a little bit of knurling here, and then there's the new Olight pocket clip, which I love. The pocket clip is reversible, so you can have it down here. You can flip it around and put it up here, or you can just take it off altogether. You can see right there, just goes kind of part of the way around. So depending on if you're a pocket clip guy or not, and then you can mount it either this way in, or you can mount it this way. And so I love their new pocket clip. I was waiting for that for years. Forward to that, there's no real heat sink on this compared to some of their other lights. There's the side button there, and that functions similar to their old S light, not the old S light, but to their S series lights. And then forward to that is the head. The Cree XHP LED is down in there. Orange pill reflector and the kind of signature Olight blue bezel there with some crenellations. This light puts out from one lumen up to 1200 lumens, depending on which battery. If you're using the CR123s, it will put out 900 lumens maximum. If you are using the 18650, it will put out maximum of 1200 lumens. Let me show you the user interface of it now, starting with the tail cap, which is pretty interesting. Like I said, it's the new tactical tail cap, and it has three functions. If you just lightly press it, it's momentary. Full brightness, in this case with the 18650, 1200 lumens, and it's momentary, pretty light press. If you full press it and let go, it stays on. If you press and hold, it goes into the strobe. And the strobe on this 
has an increased frequency compared to some of their other lights. So it's really an interesting tail cap. Momentary, full press turn it on, or press and hold, and you go into the strobe. My only other thought on the tail cap here is that if you're using it with a gun, and depending on which technique you're using, I like the cigar technique, and it's, if you're using it to search, I like that you can do the momentary with it. You can do Harry's, whichever, however you want to do it. But in the heat of the moment, if you're gripping the gun, you've got the adrenaline going, could you accidentally press it and get it to stay on? That would be my only concern. You have to press it fairly firmly, but it would just be a thought of uh, kind of see how that goes for you. Could you accidentally turn it on all the way? Again, depending on the use. I never really want to search with strobe, so I would not want to press it firmly and suddenly be searching with the strobe. So one other thought for this tail cap would be to make it purely momentary, which I would really like. But otherwise, it's an interesting function the way they have it set up. The side button here is similar to their S series lights, functions just the same way. So if you long press it, it will come on to the moonlight mode and then hold it down and it will ramp through the different brightnesses. And then from any brightness, if you want to get to the turbo, double click to the turbo, triple click, goes into the strobe, and then back. It does have mode memory for everything but these uh, moonlight and the turbo. So whatever you turn it off on, it will come back onto that. It also has a lockout. If you hold it down, it will come on and go back off, and then the light will not turn on. When you try and turn it on, the little side button here will light up red to show you that it is locked out. So it works, that locks out both the tail switch and the side switch. To get it out of the lockout, you just hold it down again, the light will come back onto the moonlight mode. If you're using the two CR123s, it has less and lower outputs. It only goes up to 900 lumens. If you're using the 18650, it goes up to 1200 lumens. Also because of the difference in the batteries when you're using that 18650 and you're going to ramp through the levels of brightness, it will ramp through four different levels. One, two, three, four, and then back down. Whereas the two CR123s, you're only gonna ramp through three different levels. Maximum outputs, the 18650 will do 1200 lumens for three minutes, and then it ramps down to 600 lumens for two hours and 10 minutes. And those CR123s are going to do 900 lumens for three minutes, and then ramp down to 600 lumens for an hour and 25 minutes. Overall thought on the light is that, like I mentioned before, Olight keeps adding things and making modifications to their lights that I keep thinking, wow, that's an interesting new feature and I think adds new value to their lights, kind of furthers the technology progression with these lights because old tail switches, I'm pretty sure, could not have done three different functions. It's really an interesting feature with this. The size is not a bad size to carry. It's a little bit chunky, but not bad. It gives you two battery options, different outputs with them. Price, $69.99. Is it worth upgrading to the M2T if you already have the M2R? Probably not a lot because they're fairly similar unless you want the new tactical tail switch, in which case you should definitely upgrade to this if you're going to be using the light in any kind of capacity or you want the momentary on like that. This is a fantastic light for that. So like I said, another great offering from Olight. Check this one out, the M2T Warrior.